Welcome back. Well, Halloween has come and gone, but there's another important holiday that is still being celebrated. Lynette Cologne from University of St. Joseph and Adam Romo, the director of Mariachi Academy of New England, telling us about the Dia de Muertos, also known as the Day of the Dead. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. All right, I'm trying my hardest. Did I get your last name right? You did. Okay, Thank I got two from two for two. So Dia de los Muertos is celebrated only in Mexico officially. I know people recognize it, yes. but tell us about the meaning of the holiday. Well, um, and Adam so, can jump yeah, in so, on this. Uh, though the, the holiday is celebrated in Mexico, and it's a time when families gather together around the cemeteries. They bring offerings as food, uh, pan muerto. Um, they bring musicians, and uh, and so it's a day that they remember the past, the, those of the past. And they have music, they have food, and everyone just celebrates the, the lives that those who have passed away. It's definitely it's kind of, celebratory. It's celebra yes. it kind of says physically you might be gone, but spiritually you're still with us. Present, mm -hmm. present and you're in, and they, you know, you bring forth the spirits, yes. which is really kind of. It sounds like a lot of like a good time. Yeah, the belief is that the spirits oh, are yes. around and enjoying the food. I mean, the food that's put out is food that they, the loved ones would have loved to have enjoyed. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, are there celebrations around here? Well, there's always celebrations oh, yeah. around here. <laughs> and, and well, today everything starts at uh, St. Joe's, so I don't know if that wants right. to. So uh, at the university, we've always done, for the last two or three years, um, lantern making workshops. So okay. we create lanterns in honor of our deceased loved ones. Um, and then we process. Um, so we're going to be processing to our chapel. Um, we're going to have music. We're going to have food. We're going to have Day of the Dead bread. Um, and Day so of the Dead bread. Day I remember of the making that bread. in Spanish class growing up. It's like a, it's a dense spread. It tastes a little bit like licorice. It's got the anise in it. Yes, yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so it's it's mm -hmm. delicious. It's sweet. It's so good. And we're going to have some hot chocolate and some punch. And um, so it's going to really be a time of gathering, sharing. We're going to have poetry read. Um, so it's going to be a really nice time. And that's today. That's tonight. 6 to 8 at the University of St. Joseph. Okay, and then tomorrow we've got more festivities. Yep, tomorrow place. we start at 10 a.m. at the Connecticut Historical Society. Which is such a great place. I was it just is. there. They have a quilt museum, yes. a quilt exhibit yes. going on. It's fantastic. Yes, so we're going to be there uh, from 10 to, f to 5, and we're going to be having a live mariachi performances. Uh, we have six of our music schools all performing throughout the day. Uh, we're going to be having in the, uh, the hall where we have all of the, the signs, the tavern signs, we're going to have altars set up mm. all around the hall. Um, so that'll be there for people to come in and visit different uh, different altars and see the different takes of people coming together and, and presenting their altars. Um, when, to include the pan muerto, are going to include uh, the flowers. You see, it's, it's very colorful. Yeah, look at yeah. that. Yeah, the it's so, uh, all the bright, beautiful colors. And yes. I guess part yes. of the tradition is if you had someone passed on, you would put a picture of them or something yeah. about them on your altar. Yes. So you Correct. usually have, you have a, personal, a personal memory mm -hmm. of them. Uh, maybe if they like horses, you would put like a plush of a horse or yeah. some kind of a toy or uh, you'd put a picture, you'd put their favorite food. Um, and then you always decorate it with the flowers, which are called sempasuchil, which for us would be uh, marigolds. And so wow. marigolds are put all over. I love marigolds. Over. Yep. Some so. of my favorite flowers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it is used for this. Uh, can you tell us what's the tradition behind those people in for Halloween dress up as Day of the Dead? The makeup, the dark eyes, and the, what is that tradition? Yeah, so, so the makeup is we call it Katrina mm -hmm. or Katrines. Um, and so we have we're going to be having tomorrow is also a, a parade of the Katrinas, and we're inviting everyone to come dressed up as uh, Katrina. So what it is is that's a it's a woman that has a skeleton mask, the skeleton face, and then you dress up in a dress, a nice dress uh, with a hat, a fancy hat decorated. So Great. fun! Thank, yes. you, thank you so, so much, much, both of you, for being Thank you. here. Thank Say you. it again for me, Dia. Dia de Muertos. She says it the best. <laughs> yes. You're a pretty good second runner up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, you can hope you enjoyed it. And you can find out more information on chs.org slash event. Have Thanks, a great guys. weekend.